Okay, so now we're going to start driving traffic to our funnel. This is the cheapest way you can internet you can advertise on the internet right now. This is one of the biggest secrets going on as of this uh, this writing here of this of this recording. Um, Twitter pay per click traffic very cheap. Let me show you a graphic. I started a test campaign a couple of days ago, and on the first day I got about thirty in, in tweet engagements. That's basically meaning people clicked on my tw advertised tweet. Thirty people basically came to my website. I paid. A dollar thirty-three, which came out to about four cents a click. Okay, really cheap traffic. And um, let's go ahead. And the way we're going to start, let's go ahead and go over to um, uh, your Twitter account. And what you want to do is you want to be sure you're on your home account. So let's go ahead and set up our first Twitter campaign. What you want to do is here is you want to go ahead and click on advertise, not ad, ad info, but advertise. Click on that there. And as you can see, I'm going into my day and a half now, actually two and a half days. I'm up to 76 engagements, which is 76 clicks. The campaign is slowly ramping up. I actually increased it to 10 cents a click just to see what would happen. And I'm still only paying 7 cents a click. It never really takes what you bid. It's always slightly below. And for 7 cents a click, I got 76 people to my website. I paid a total of $5.49. Okay, so this is going to slowly ramp up to more and more traffic. And let's let's go ahead and set up your first campaign. So we're going to go ahead and click on Create New Campaign. You're going to click on Tweet Engagements. You want people to engage with your tweets. Okay, so now that this is open, go ahead and name your campaign. I'm going to name my test campaign. Okay, and let's just do that. But let's... um. Okay, so we're ready to go. So what we want to do, we want to grab our tweets. I want, to, want you to grab the, the uh, pre-written tweets that I have for you. So go back to your to the web page. In fact, what you want to do is you want to now download all the uh, all the tweets, the ad text tweets, and the graphics I have for it, and the audiences. And this is what you want to do. You want to go ahead and download it all at once now. Create a, create a folder on your computer. Just right-click there. Name the folder Fat uh, Wallet. Uh, fat wallet stuff <laughs> okay and um, what you're going to want to do go back to your, the website to the web page lesson and you want to right click on that and then left click on save link and you want to navigate to that folder so it's on my desktop and uh, I call it fat wallet stuff open that up and you want to click save and it's going to save that inside the folder okay so Let's double check and make sure. There it is. So let's just keep on going. Let's go ahead and save everything. Same thing, hover over it, right click, and then once it drops down, left click on save, and it's going to start saving the graphics. There's two graphics I want you to save in here. Oops, I click and then get saved to graphics. Now here's your audiences, same thing. Okay. Once again, right click on it and then left click on save link as. And there you go. Now everything should be saved in your folder. Here are the audiences, the graphics, and your Twitter ads. Okay, so now let's go back to where are we? Uh, let's see, let's go back to where you're setting up the campaign. You want to upload your first ad. Okay, so we've already created the name of the campaign. Leave it on start immediately. Go ahead and paste in your first ad. So let's go ahead and open up our our pre-written ads. There they are. Um, what you want to do is go ahead and grab your link. The link that you want to send it to, the very first link to your funnel. And um, I, what I like to do is that I will save that link at the top of this document. Okay, and I know I've been telling everyone to cloak your link, use your link. On Twitter, it's okay not to. You can use it just raw as it is because no one can cut off your ink and edit your link and cut you out. So it's okay to do that, but you'll have to be relying on Twitter's uh, tracking. You can't track it yourself. So if you don't mind just relying on Twitter tracking, you can go ahead and use your raw link. It's that first link that I gave you, which is the first link to your funnel. Go ahead and paste that here just so you have it handy. Now what you want to do is you want to grab each 
add copy it and as you, you'll notice below each ad it'll say which graph it goes with it. it's a graphic one so let's make a note of that we're gonna go back to our Twitter page and we're gonna paste in our ad and you want to put your link where it says your link here don't forget to do that very important step I did it one time and it you know it's kind of a messy I didn't get charged for it uh, but you know it, it's a bunch of ads that ad got advertised without a link in it okay so once you paste your ad in and then your link and then you want to click on this and you want to upload a graphic navigate to your to that to that page I call it fat wallet stuff it's on there and two graphics and let's see let me make sure it's graphic one you want to open that it says graphic one sure enough I'm going to put graphic one with add one then you want to save and there's your first ad then you want to click on tweet promote it I've given you four different ads and you want to run four ads at the same time that's the first one I'll go ahead and click on compose again let's go back to the to the ads and we want to copy the ad text copy it in there then we want to go and grab our link once you can you can advertise your raw link and you want to be sure you paste your link where it says that okay now let's see which graphic for ad 2 it says graphic 2 alright so we're gonna go ahead and find graphic 2 it's in that folder where you download it and you're gonna save okay then you're gonna put it like this okay and you're gonna do the other tweets other two ads the same exact way you're gonna go grab the ad let's do ad 3 I'll do one more ad you, I think you can do the rest on your own it's only one more you're gonna paste your ad into there you're gonna paste your link into there as well okay Don't forget to do that Paste your link there and let's see which graphic did add three one through add three one it also went in graphic two and then there's add four there you can do that on your own so we'll go ahead and go put add graphic whoops graphic two in paste and then save and then be sure you click that to add a so now you're going to be advertising four ads on that section you just saw how I did that then in targeting you want to be sure and list your location so you want to do a United States okay you want United Kingdom you want Australia and Canada okay they call those the big five and I am going to add some keywords in here just for fun, just so we get a few more tweets, let's add a few keywords in here. Let's go ahead and add business, business opportunity, okay. And what you want to do is put a plus sign in front of that. That way it'll keep it together, business opportunity. Okay, then you want to add, put plus and then bloggers just blogger okay and it tells you there are like what 100 to 100 K about a hundred thousand bloggers and go ahead and put plus I'm giving you guys a little extra here and then bloggers with an S okay and then we want to go ahead and do plus we just want to add a few things in here and so that's it just want business opportunity blogger and then bloggers with an S then work at home okay the uh, keywords now we want to upload our audiences so go ahead and click on audiences and you're gonna browse for tailored audiences now I've already uploaded my audiences here so I all I have to do is select all but yours is going to basically ask you to navigate to the audiences in your folder and you're going to end up uploading um, you're going to upload each and every each one of those audiences um, let's see how did that go you're going to upload your audiences there Brian and Matt and Jeff Darren and um, 
what's going to happen is it's going to require you it's going to take a day for your audiences to actually get uploaded and approved by Twitter but don't worry about that you'll see a little spinning sign by each audience letting you know that it's processing but continue down very important be sure you also click this link here this button here make sure that is clicked expanded reach it'll what it's going to do it's also going to reach out to people that have similar interests to all the people in these audiences plus similar interest to the to a blogger and work at home bloggers business opportunity okay now let's go ahead and continue down now comes the fun part you want to put a maximum bit maximum um, ten dollars a day spend alrighty it can't be actually that's the minimum so you want to be able to put ten dollars a day and then for bidding you want to put five cents a click now I've done two cents I didn't I'm now I'm not getting traffic at two cents more and more people are finding out about this so start at five cents a click okay and then once you see you give it 24 hours okay let me I'm going ahead of myself then go ahead and click save campaign be sure you save the campaign you're going to have to see something here that's telling you your audiences are still uploading so you don't want to launch it until your audiences are uploaded and uh, so you can wait and come back what I would do is I would say save as draft and exit and then come back tomorrow open up that campaign and start it uh, your audiences should be done um, okay so there you go your campaign is all saved and set and ready to rock and roll it will be sitting right there okay and you pretty much have it all right as soon as you do that within 24 hours once you start running your live campaign you'll start seeing traffic flow to your website um, so that's pretty much it for this keep it simple I'll talk to you soon